Hey guys, everything for iPod here, showing you how to do a smooth slow motion effect using Adobe After Effects CS4 or any version of Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas Pro 9, and Windows Movie Maker. Movie Maker. So here's After Effects. I've just recently started using it. I'm not really that good with it. So I'm going to show you how to do a time remapping, I think it's called, something like that. Yeah, this is very basic. Not too good with After Effects. Do a new composition. So you go to composition, new composition, file, import a clip. Uh, let's do our intro. And let's take the uh, MOV file, or whatever file you have, drag it in. I'll scale it down. And we can scrub scrub through it and see that it plays. Let's just where's my round preview? Whatever. Here we go. And it's still rendering. So basically, there we go. That's our intro. Sorry. And you want to right click, you want to select the file. First, you want to go to the end of the clip. You want to drag the cursor to the end of the clip. You want to hit, you want to hit end. It'll, uh, and you want to do a trim comp to work area, just so I can, so you can see it clearer. So then you want to right click, and you want to go to time, enable time remapping. And then it sets a keyframe down here. So you can drag this wherever you want. And this is going to be the start of your... Oh, never mind. Well, yeah. It, 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 you can delete that keyframe or do whatever you want. I, I will talk about that in a second. So you want to go to where you want to speed it up. So I'll do the part where giveaways flies in. I'll slow that down, actually. So I'll set a keyframe right when it's about to pop up. And then when it comes in, and when it goes out, like that, I will and the I'll put another keyframe. So now we have two keyframes showing where it starts and where it ends. So if you want to if you want to do slow motion, you drag that out. That's really all you have to do. It doesn't seem like it does much, but now when we render giveaways flies in. It's just staying there because not much else ha happens in the intro. And here we go. Unboxing. Slow giveaways. You can probably hear it by the audio, but I'm not sure if you can. But basically, it slows down. It flies in slower. So yeah, and if you want to make it faster, fast motion, drag it close together like this. And then let's watch. So you see it flies in. <laughs> Pretty funny, but that's, yeah. And that's basically how you do a stable, that's not the word I'm looking for, a good slow motion effect. If you go into your toggle switches mode, and you get your switches. Up here, this will be a little motion blur, shutter duration button. If you hit that, it'll add a motion blur to your effect. This isn't the best video to demonstrate. It would, uh, but if you watch, let's try to get this. I don't know, it's, it's not too good an intro, or it's not too good a clip to show you, but that will add a motion blur to whatever you are whatever you were trying to slow or fasten, fasten, faster, yeah, and then if you want to do it somewhere else, you'll just 
start make a new keyframe and rinse and repeat. Basically what you do. When you can just delete the keyframes and toggle it off. So yeah, once again, right click, time, enable time remapping. So sorry I had to hear that I wasn't really no. Too good. So now if we exit out of that, I will open Sony Vegas. It's a little laggy because of my recording. Now this will take a few seconds. Let's see, can I pause this? No. Can't pause my Camtasia. So this will work in any version of Vegas. It doesn't have to be Sony Vegas 9 or Pro or any of that. And basically why you would want to slow down a clip or speed up a clip would be faster, fast in the clip, fast in the clip, would be a... Uh, if you want to slow down a clip, you could better showcase the movement or the reaction or something that's going on in that clip. I'm sure you guys already know why you would want to do this, because you're obviously watching this. But it is a very useful tool, and one of the simplest things that uh, video editing softwares hold. But it keeps on getting more advanced and advanced, as I will show you in Windows Movie Maker. So let's, in let's get our intro. And, uh, where's play? play? Here's our intro. And it'll play in the bottom. And take our cursor. And so this is the whole clip. So you'll go to the end of the clip. You'll hold down your control key. You'll see it squiggly lines. And then you'll uh, push it closer to get faster. Or you'll push it farther away.